think way back when to, oh, I don't know, January of 2020, we had a triple conjunction in the sign of Capricorn of Pluto, Jupiter and Saturn, right? Everybody remembers that because it was a really big deal. Everyone was making a huge deal about it. Think about what has taken place since then in terms of the structures of our world, in terms of the hierarchies of business, of corporation, of finances, of resources. What else does the Capricorn energy govern as well? <laughs> the Royals, darling. Now, I don't know about anybody else, right? But I think we can see a very clear pattern of what's happened from that triple conjunction right up until now. The fact that we're having two full moons in the sign of Capricorn, for me, speaks volumes. And what it means is, at this moment in time, we can see that the structure of the old world, right? The structure of the old world, Capricorn. Capricorn is the traditions, right? Of the, That our world is built on. On this side of it, we can see that the structure, the old structure that we've lived in and under, the old system that we've lived in and under, is literally crumbling before our very eyes. We're about to have two full moons. What are full, full moons? I'm going to explore this in a little bit, but endings, completions, culminations. They're full stops, universal full stop, right? That's what you can see the full moon as. So the fact that we're having two of those in the same sign right at the beginning at one degree, right? Like the literal very beginning of a cardinal sign, I might add. The symbolism is insane. Right? We're going to get into some interesting stuff here as well. Uh, and then we're having another one, which is right at the end of the sign. Now, I don't know if anyone is aware, but Pluto is currently in the sign of Aquarius at one degree right? And it's currently doing its backward dance and it's going to come back into the sign of Capricorn and it's going to hover at the 29th degree of the sign. Full moon at the first degree, full moon at the 29th degree, right? Our literal world has the shape and structure of society has shifted and changed in the last four years, there is a grand universal line being drawn under that, right? And that's not to say that it's not going to get a little bit bumpier from here on in. It's just to say that the initial fundamental shifts and changes and, you know, cracks in those foundations have been made. What comes from here is going to be growth on, you know, an incredible level. Um, and there's so much of this that ties in with some really interesting, um, you know, phenomena with the fact that we're in a universal year eight as well. 